All right, so today we're back up in the mountains, but this time we're in France. And we're going to be seeing if we can get some big Ibex with the 270 here. Now, I did an Ibex video, it wasn't really an Ibex video, it was an Ibex competition, but I got a little bit too distracted by the ptarmigans. Now I brought a 22 again, which might not have been the greatest idea, but it's fine. Fine, we won't get distracted. There's something walking like right next to me, so let's just like get on with this. I can see a curl sticking out from behind the rock. Let's just, he doesn't look all that big, but it's a good start. If I can get an actual shot at him. He's not cooperating all that well at the moment. I don't want to spook him. I think there might also be another one on the ground right in front of me here. All right, there he is. I didn't see him come down, so that's kind of surprising to me. He's got a max score estimate. And I guess that wasn't a good enough shot to knock him down. Oh, okay, there he goes. Oh, we got a female got stuck on a rock. We'll take her as well, just so she doesn't get in our way later. Alright, let's go have a look at what the male scored. He might be a little better than I thought. I was originally thinking he was about the 220 to 240 range. But now he's actually looking a bit better than that. He's pretty wide. He might be 260 plus. And he is only a 240. And we managed to get that shoulder blade, not the lung. But he still went down pretty quick. Not quite big enough for a trophy shot. And the female as well. Hard shot on this one. Obviously she's not going to score very high. 105. Let's see if we can find a 260 plus Ibex, ideally for a picture. I hope we get another female. Might as well take her out. Actually that might be a small male. I believe that's a small male. And he's down. I do believe it was a small male. I didn't get a spot on him. Let's just go have a look real quick. Yeah, I would say that's definitely a small male. Yep. 174. Alright, so we got another good looking Ibex. Now this one's a little bit out of 270 range. He's another max score estimate, obviously my spotting isn't very high, as you can tell. But we'll go get that one. These Tarmigan are just taunting me, because they know I want to shoot them. But I don't want to get off topic. And we have a big Ibex in front of us. Just going to scan around and make sure there aren't any more big looking Ibex. It looks like we're probably clear to go get that one. Alright, there he is in front of us. That's not the right gun. There we go. This one looks like he might break 260. This one definitely looks better than the last one. And he's down. Let's go see what he's going to score. Hopefully he is a little better than the last one. A 260 would be pretty nice. And that's what we're looking for for a trophy shot. Now 
And there he is. He definitely looks better than the last one we shot. But I could be wrong. And he is quite a bit bigger. Still not quite that 260 mark though. So we'll keep looking. There's a pretty good looking Ibex up there. Oh, okay. I gotta get up to get a look at him. He looks pretty good. He's only got a 270 max though. But we're gonna shoot him. And I guess we didn't double lung him, because... Alright, here he comes. Alright. Let's see what he's going to score. I'm thinking he's probably about a 240, would be my guess. Oh, we didn't even hit him with that second shot. 225, so not that big. Alright. We've got another pretty decent looking Ibex in front of us. This one's score estimate taps out at 255. So he's not going to be that great. I think I'm going to try a shot from here. Even though I'm not too confident with the 270. I think that hit. I guess we'll go find out. Alright, so here he is. We did hit him. We got intestine blood. So I'm not sure. I think that must have been the first shot. I don't think we hit him with the second one. Yeah, first shot. 237, so not too bad. Pretty decent looking Ibex. Still no 260. Alright, so we never got our 260. But most of the Ibex we ran into were pretty decent. So I'm not complaining there. I had a pretty good hunt. The 270 is a little more powerful than I remember it being. I had fun using it. Made some good shots. The Grey Wolf is a pretty nice variation, I might add. But that's the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I didn't get distracted by any ptarmigans. That's a, that's a bonus. That's a bonus.